and welcome. Today's video, we're going to be unbagging our October Ipsy Glam Bag. Plus, you guys are right, this is the October bag. You guys know I was like all 10 times of confused last month when Haley and I were unboxing our September bag. I was expecting the black bag and it was like a burgundy corduroy. But anyways, this just showed up at my door. I don't typically film in the evening, but here I am. Yesterday's video had the exact same top, but it showed you guys I'm loving the rosy day tie dye yeah this is so cute so cozy and literally I promise you guys the video from yesterday and today are like weeks apart it just happened to play out that way anyways welcome to my ramble fest 98 love that for me today like I said we're going to be unbagging our ipsy glam bag plus now don't worry Haley and I will be coming back and doing our ipsy versus ipsy mother versus daughter glam bag and glam bag plus edition and matter of fact it's gonna be a little extra this month because it's gonna be PR versus paid as well for both of us. Ipsy was actually kind enough to send over their Glam Bag and Glam Bag Plus and PR for Haley and I. So we're going to be showing you guys head to head those bags as well as putting them up against our paid bags. And that's what today's video is all about. So if you guys are new here, let's just jump into the disclaimer. Hi, hello, and welcome. My name's Rhonda, and over here we always embrace the hot mess. It's a judgment-free, drama-free, stress-free zone where you sit back, relax, we unbox, we play, we chat, we review. I don't even know what we do over here anymore, but we just have fun. So hopefully this is a place for you where you'll stick around, subscribe. I upload all the time. Um, Monday through Friday, it's always at 12.15 Eastern time. And on the weekends, I typically upload at 9 p.m. Hopefully I can get this video up to you guys tomorrow, which is Saturday. So fingers crossed, my editing skills will I am rambling. Let's go ahead and jump into the unboxing. Okay guys, so if you guys are new to Ipsy, Ipsy is a monthly subscription. You do have different options as far as that goes. You can always sign up for the Ipsy Glam Bag, which is $12 a month, and it is more so deluxe size samples. Sometimes you do get some full size samples in there as well not full size samples, full size items in there. Then they have what's called the Glam Bag Plus. Now this is $25 a month and you do get to customize three of the items in this particular bag. And I think in your in your Glam Bag, the $12 bag, I really truly can't remember because they just recently changed this. But I think you do get to customize multiple items in there as well. Could be wrong, so don't take it to the bank because my brain is like mush 99.99% of the time. But I can guarantee you for your Glam Bag Plus, you do get to customize three out of the five items in here. It is supposed to be profile based, so it is based off of like your picks and your choosings and what you like in your profile. If you are skincare heavy, if you are makeup heavy, if you like to go outside your comfort zone, as well as your hair color, eye color, your skin tone texture, all of that, and it will go age based, but I do fib on mine instead of giving them my actual age. I personally found that I liked when I switched it over to like mid 20s. I like the stuff that I get in there in my bags better. So, and if you guys have been with Haley and I for a while watching our Ipsy versus Ipsy, y'all already know. So I will tell you guys right off the bat, because this was sent in a PR package, they sent it with the other, the glam bag, and then they sent some extras in here. So again, thank you to Ipsy for sending Haley and I the PR. They did send over an adorable candle that smells absolutely delicious. And look, it's even black on the inside. It does smell so good. I don't know what it reminds me of, but it smells delicious. So thank you for that. They also sent over the Ipsy eye mask as well. And there is no card in here, so I kind of had to guess as to what item went in this one and what item additional item went into the glam bag. So I'm pretty sure I nailed it. I think I got it right. So let's start off with the first item in this bag. This is by LaRousse Brushes and I did open it up to double check and see if these were the ones that I've received in my past paid for box and it is. This is a set of four face brushes. They are very, very nice. They're super, super soft. 
And I love this one. I'm definitely going to pull mine out. I think I have mine sitting in backup or it may be somewhere in this whole brush collection. Or I may have gifted some to Haley. But these are really nice soft brushes. I feel like this would be great underneath the eye. So that is the first item in here as well. And like I said, this was set in PR. So I did not customize any of the items. Okay, so the next item that I see in here is by Philorgora. I'm probably saying that incorrectly, but this is what the box looks like. It was actually wrapped in plastic, but I have gone ahead because this is my third time trying to film because I was 10 times up in my head and was making a flipping, I was not, it was not a good situation. So anywho, this item is by Philorga. I don't know. But this is the Oxygen Glow Eyes. It's a super smoothing radiant eye care cream. And I always like to hold them up to light to make sure everything is full as far as that goes. And it actually is. So let me know down below if you guys have tested out or tried out this brand. I love eye creams, especially with the change of the weather. Things start to get crazy and wonky underneath my eyes. So I'm always happy to add eye creams to my collection. The next item I see in here, this is by Ciate London. This is a translucent extraordinary powder and I have used this in the past. I really, really like this particular powder, guys. It is very bright looking in here. Don't let that fool you. If you just take a nice little brush and then like fluff it right underneath the eye. It looks absolutely beautiful. I know that I've received this in the past as well as their coconut one, and I loved it. I could actually, with the coconut one, almost do like a, almost like a little baking underneath my eye, and it looks so, so pretty. And y'all yo, know, your girl's 42 years old, so I'm not into like that heavy, heavy baking stuff because it likes to show my age and I don't appreciate that. But this one is so micro fine that it is just like silk underneath the eyes. Now if there's flashback, I don't know because your girl don't have paparazzi following her. So I don't know if there's any flash and stuff like that. So for those of you out there that may be watching that you have paparazzi following and you have to worry about flash, your girl can't help you there. Okay, so. I got two more items in here. The next one is by Illuminati Cosmetics. And for some reason, it could be my Wi-Fi, guys. I don't know. But my Ipsy app is not opening up. I'll have to turn off my Wi-Fi to try. But I was playing on the app, making my choices for my paid-for glam bag. I don't know when it was. Was it yesterday, the day before, a couple days ago? And I did see they had these Illuminati cosmetic quads available to purchase if you did not choose them. So this one in particular is a very pretty like pumpkin color. And you see there's two mattes in here and two shimmers. And yes, I have already swatched them because like I said, I tried to film this for you guys before. One thing I will say is they feel super creamy as I'm like, you know, trying to swatch. Now, you guys know I always say swatches don't tell the full story here. The mattes are beautiful. I feel like the shimmers are really, really pretty. But I feel like they're not as like, as I thought they were going to be. It's one of those shimmers that I feel like it's going to be ones where you really pack it onto the lid to get that punch or you pile it onto, you know, your, your flat brush and you spritz it and then it really, really like gives you a huge payoff. That's kind of my feelings off just doing a couple swatches. But like I said, swatches don't tell the full story, but the mattes feel absolutely, I bit my tongue, absolutely wonderful as far as that goes. The last item in this bag is by Huda Beauty and this is the Mob mauve obsession nine pan palette and this is an absolute beautiful color story i love this i have a lot of i think i may have this one by huda in my collection and i know i have the like c color cosmetics and the bad habit i have a couple dupes of this particular one i so i'm gonna set this one aside i think Haley may have this one as well so my mom may want it or you guys might see it in a future giveaway, which stay tuned, make sure you're subscribed because that video is actually scheduled to go up for next week, uh, the 30K giveaway. So have you clicked the subscribe button? Are you still here? 
stick around, my friends, my dear. I should write a book. Look at me rhyming. Only took me like three or four times to sit down and be able to get through a video. Hmm. Anyways, guys, that is everything in this bag. And overall, I'm pretty excited for this particular bag. I do like the items in here. A couple of them, of course, like I said, I've used in the past before, so I already know how they work. But these items, like I said, because I have received them in past paid for bags, I do have a feedback on them. I do have a review on them, and I do like the items specifically these two I really loved and I loved the I want to say I may have like I said these I have not have I used them I don't think I used them I think these are set back because if you guys saw this you would understand why I haven't jumped into this but they feel very very nice but anyways guys I'm excited I will definitely be putting together some sort of look with this little quad because like I said I did notice that this was available for add-ons if you guys were interested as far as that goes like I said Haley and I will be coming back putting our bags head to head and you guys will see paid versus PR mother versus daughter all of that fun stuff so stick around subscribe make sure you're following me over on Instagram as well because I've actually been pretty good about popping up little little like makeup looks and stuff like that over there so thank you again to ipsy for sending this over my way to unbag i greatly appreciate it if you guys are interested in signing up for ipsy i will have a link down below um it's just my referral link from where i paid for mine and then you get that referral link kind of thing it's not an affiliate link or anything like that but like i said overall if i look at this bag is it worth $25 to me personally yes I feel like with everything we got in this particular bag I think it was definitely worth your $25 like I always tell you guys subscription boxes you have to keep an open mind as far as that goes because yes you do get to customize you're paid for three out of the five items and you're paid for bag so you know you're gonna know three of the items and then the other two items ipsy is picking for you based off of your profile so always make sure you keep your profile up to date as far as that goes as well if you guys are curious i know a lot of you guys had been asking me to try it out because you know i bought it a while back this is the elf bite size eyeshadow in the uh, Asahi or something you color the blue and you guys were like Rhonda just do it and I had like this whole I'm gonna look like Mimi from Drew Carey thought in my head well I don't feel like that and I don't want to hear about it if you think I do that's boo to you because no thank you that if you can't keep it cute keep it on mute okay because we're all about niceness here so I actually just played with this really pretty blue periwinkle to kind of like bring out the periwinkle blue in my shirt and I love it and I actually just used my finger and packed it right on there with a little bit of my Gerard Cosmetics clean canvas eye base of heavenly goodness amazingness that you everybody and their mother should have in their collection okay that is all I have for you guys today I hope you stick around and subscribe this is the most non-professional little channel on the YouTube, so I would love it if you guys would stick around. And that is all, friends. Until next time, as always, I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful, and blessed day. Kisses from Kentucky. Mwah! Bye, guys.